to the death walkthrough my name is brent and today we're on episode 312 we are defeating some killipedes which is very cool um these guys are life and death they have uh 4130 health for the death guys and 4470 health for the life guys very cool very epic uh we need some nails toenails from them or something i don't know, something like that um if you haven't seen last episode go go watch it right now stop what you're doing and watch it Go, go watch it. You'll love it. Um, but yeah, that'll catch you up on where we are currently. And there's also a full playlist down. Not in the description, but there is a full playlist that you can go and catch up on any episode of the 311 that you have missed so far. Um, so yeah, welcome. Welcome. So these guys, I would assume, have normal resist rules. Um, so we're going to not boost on the death guy. He's going to have like... A decent amount of resist and the life guy is going to have a decent amount of resist to balance uh, not balance to life and we're going to boost on them because we're death so that would be my assumption they have some pierce have some crit have some damage just the normal just the normal stuff normal stuff the reason why i'm doing two blades here is just because i did not bring prisms because i was honestly hoping that i would get two life guys did not happen that way but that's fine also we're carrying um grim reader now just in case just just in case we need it um, because we have had a couple of times where we just needed a finisher, and it's a cool spell. It's a very, very cool spell, so we'll, we'll carry it for a little bit. Um, right, crit, and hopefully they're dead. They're dead. I think we need three of these, so I'll have to do another fight of this. Um, but I thought I'd bring you in just as we're fighting the first couple here. Um, how many did we get? Please say we got two. Might help if I have dialogue on. Would be really helpful. Look, wizard. Isn't that Tosh? I hope for his sake these wildlands welcome him more warmly than Ursai. Nevertheless, you've got a task to complete. Um, well, that was only one. That's handy. Look at all this kaitan you collected. You must be the most powerful wizard who ever lived. You know anything about building tables? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless you want to. Nah, 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 nah. I got this. But I will ask one last favor. Could you go tell Juju we're finally done with all the prep work for the Kili Wahoo ceremony? It's time to get this party started. Right, okie dokie. Let's talk to Juju. Finally, and start this darn thing. Start this party. Let's start the party. So yeah, basically all that we've been doing over the last couple of mini quests is uh, just setting up for the Kilowahu ceremony, which is meant to stop the volcano from exploding everyone or something. Again with the barge and in. Oh, it's you. By all means, barge, barge. How goes the ceremony prep? All done? Wow. I was afraid we weren't going to have a Kilowahu ceremony at all this year. The bear folk have been extra lazy lately. I suspect something's been interfering with the nap schedules. <laughs> Luckily, a mystical wizard from another world spirited in and saved the day. <laughs> Maybe this year's ceremony will actually be interesting. <laughs> They've been a bit of a snooze fest for... Oh, he is now. Anywho, to the beach. Right, let's get to the beach and see what is this festival all about. What is the party about? We love parties here. This is the definitely have party place. So, yep, definitely go to parties all the time. Lemurs and gentle bears, on your feet. And prepare for the Killer Wahoo ceremony! Come on, Osai! Let the old boy hear ya! Old boy! Old boy! Old boy! Not bad! But it takes more than yelling to bring the old boy out. He needs to hear the music! Take it away, Tosh! <coughs> Tosh? That's your cue, buddy. I said, Take it away, Tosh! <gasps> really? Now he's quiet? Um, sorry folks. We're experiencing technical difficulties. But don't worry. 
I'm sure our musician is around here somewhere. The strange wizard ran Tosh out of the village. I saw it with me on eyes. Yeah, the wizard ran him off. This is uh, terrible. Oh, no. Wizard? Is this true? They're gaslighting me. You've got some explaining to do, outsider. I don't care what the lazy bear said. You had no right to run my dear, sweet, marginally annoying nephew out of the village. It's okay, wizard. We know where Tosh is. You can fetch him. Tell them. Tell them. Hey, focus! What's that? Tosh is in the wildlands? Why is he... Doesn't matter. You have to rescue him before the g g g ghost gets him. Oh, great. Who wants me to shut up now? Oh, so now the bear folk want to hear my song. Well, too bad. I hope Kilowahoo takes them all. Oh, I don't mean that. The thing is, I can't play my song at the ceremony. The Kula Kamba hates my music even more than the bears. They stole my ukata. As much as I hate to let the old boy down and condemn Ursai to a violent, fiery death. What? You'll get my ukata back? Uh, thanks! Right, I guess we have to defeat these guys. Um, these guys look familiar. They're fire. Kumbla Kabla Blabla Warrior. Um, rank 18. They have 3,845 health, which isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, just a blade and a scarecrow should work. Should work, should be good. Hopefully, we will find out. Krampus, oh no. Oh no. Am I going to fizzle? That is the question. Hopefully not. Hopefully, the answer is no. But it's a possibility. It's a big possibility. How much is it going to do as well with a crit? Like, a thousand? Okay, 498. I gave them too much credit. 45 mantle is quite a lot. Quite a lot, not going to lie. That's, um, painful. Please don't fizzle with us. My pet, why would you let me down? No! My pet failed on me. This is so sad. This is tragic. People talk about pet failing at Mega. What about pet failing at combat? Very sad. Very, very sad. How, how dare it. Luna, you are not getting a pet, pet snack after this fight. That's for sure. You have not deserved it. I'm sorry. You have let me down immensely. My day is ruined. My wizard career is over. Everyone's going to think I'm a failure now. So sad. Oh my gosh, stop with these mantles. No. Uh, I have to say, the one thing that I hate about fire mobs in this world, are they're so annoying. They are just so annoying. They're like myth, but like a fizzle. Instead of take your blades, they're going to make you fizzle. Which I, I think is slightly better. But still, it is painful and annoying. I think they can also stun you as well, which is not cool. Very 0 out of 10. Not a fan. Anyway, they're now dead. Which is good. It's what they deserve. Fiery pits of death. Quack! Oh, take this silly noisemaker! Use it for the lies! Maybe we cursed it. Maybe we didn't. It doesn't matter. None of this is real! Squack! Oh! Okie dokie. Strange interaction there, but that's fine. Let's go to Tosh. Hello. My Ukata! <laughs> Looks like the Kulakamba didn't do anything funky to it. Guess we should hurry back to Ursai so I can perform a big song. Uh, not for the bear folk, by the way. For the old boy. And I guess a little for my aunt. Anyway, let's go. Ah, oh, there you are, just in time. The bears were seconds away from falling asleep, standing up. All right, Tosh, take it away, for real this time. Whoa, whatever the Kulakamba did to this Yukata made it extra funky, in a good way. Wahoo! 
That seems like the bad kind of funky. Stop the music! Nobody do anything that could cause more trouble. Wizard, I think we're going to need your wizardly help on this one. It appears the old boy wasn't a fan of Tosh's modern spin on the ceremonial hymn, but it's not Tosh's fault. That's on me. This is all on me. I've been far too lax with my hierarchical duties around here. We've all lost sight of the old bo- Oh, the old one's words. In my defense, it's because those words, in the form of the sacred writs, were stolen from us generations ago by the ghost who squawks. <gasps> the very name is terrifying! So the ghost is real? He is, but he is not a ghost. He is a monster, and his real name is the Bantam. <gasps> the name is slightly terrifying, but I'm still concerned. The Bantam and his cooler combo thugs hate everything Ursai Village stands for, especially our relationship with our founder, the old boy. The Bantam stored the sacred writs and keeps them like a prize in his lair to sever that relationship, to keep us from his words. Ursai has miraculously gone generations without botching the Kilowahu ceremony. But here we are. Now, we need the sacred writs for guidance. We're begging you, wizard. Please, rescue the sacred writs from the Bantam in the Temple of Truth before the angry mountain devours us all. Kulakamba! This is the moment we've been talking about training for! Guard the lies with your life! It's fighty time! Squawkoo! These Kulakamba lemurs appear to be even stranger than the others. Certainly more violent. Still, do try not to hurt them too badly. Right, we have made it into a dungeon. Um where we have to find the sacred writs after that terribly wrong um, ceremony. Uh, so yeah, these guys are Storm rank 18. They have 3,455 health. I assume normal resist rules will apply and boost as well. Um, shouldn't be too bad. They are Storm though, so prepare for enfeebles, stuff like that. Just, just, they're Storm Wizards. Just prepare. <laughs> just prepare for pain and suffering. Um, and lots of Tempests, of course, because that is a spell that Storm Wizards know, apparently, all the time. They just cast it too much. Too many, too many Tempests, that's for sure. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, we should be able to kill it with a... Ship of Falls. Hopefully. Should be able to do that much, you would think. You would think it would be. Hopefully it does. Fingers crossed, we'll never, never find out if we don't try. We crit, which is a good start. 35 blades, so it's a weak blade, but that's fine. That is fine. We go for a smash, and they're still alive. One of them's still alive. That is such a shame. They're both still alive. No! I am terrible. I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. This is so sad. I am shaking and crying. Um... Do we just do this again? I think we can kill. I think we can kill with this. If we not don't, that's very embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. <laughs> and we'll just hit with a Grim Reader because I know we'll kill at least one of them. The other one may not die, but at least one of them will. This does about 1,000 ish. 2,000 if we crit on them, which we did that time, so that's good. Very nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All done. Fight's over! The ghost is that way! Or is he? Are any of us anywhere? Or is any of this real? The Kula Kamba speak nonsense. Perhaps this ghostly Bantam character has bewitched them. Be on your guard, wizard. I hear more of them this way. Right. Let's try this now. Um, who's in here? The rumors of the hideous monster from another world are true. But the Kula Kamba will not give up the ghost without a fight. Okay, these guys are balance, rank 18, same as before, except balance. Um, these guys have 
4,130 health, so slightly less. We do have a Scarecrow. We don't have a Blade, though. That's very upsetting. This upsets me greatly. Um, but yeah, we do boost on these guys, I would assume, so that's good. Another natural attack. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I would expect these guys have Mana Burn or something. Probably Mana Burn, I think. When I was questing on my fire, I saw them have Mana Burn, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, got a Shad. Second round. Wow. 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 Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, we'll just blade. And we will hit next. We will hit next. Hopefully. Don't be a weakness. It's not a weakness. Good. Why would you do precision? I have never seen anyone ever cast precision. That has to be a first. I don't think I have ever seen anyone cast precision. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Precision. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize they were that bad. <laughs> didn't realize they were that bad. Jeez. Just get more accuracy, dude. It's not that difficult. Come on. Ugh. We failed the g g ghost! The eyes will destroy us all! That sound. I'm suddenly overcome by one of the old one's memories from Caramel? Strange. Never mind that. This way. Hmm. Interesting. Odd. Odd, 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 odd. Sorry, stranger, but this is where your little temple adventure ends. Turn around or face the wrath of... The Bantam! Squawk! Ha! Huh. People usually flee in terror when I do that. What do you mean you've heard that shtick before? There are chicken heroes with mighty squawks where you come from, too? Well, then you're aware of what comes next. Angel, to me! Okie dokie. So, the Bantam is a cheating boss. He is a rank 20 life boss. He has 12,580 health. Um, I'm going to pack a faint. Um, we should be fine. We do boost on him. 5%. 73% resist to life, apparently. Um, basically, you can't be late. Um, at the beginning of the first round, he will um, cast the natural attack. After his natural attack, it he is pacified for three rounds, so we can't hit him directly. Um, if you hit, uh, if you blade someone else, he will convert half of that blade to a balanced blade for himself. Um, and then his pet angel will cast a mass sacred charge occasionally when he says to do it, which could be any time. Um, yeah. Um, life dispel. That's cute. That's really cute love love that love that for me very cool very epic um he doesn't actually have that much health which is kind of crazy but he does know um grenadier he knows lord of the jungle um hungry caterpillar lamasu and pigsy and regenerate and yeah he he has some spells he has some spells that's for sure he also has life faint which is a plus 75 uh, life damage to me, and then a plus 25 for him. So, yeah, that's a, that's a spell that he has, which is slightly annoying. I don't really mind about this absorb. Um, I wasn't planning on casting Grim Reader, but if I was, then that would be slightly unfortunate. I'd probably only use that as a finishing shot, not an actual main hit. Um, so, hopefully that doesn't come too bad, because what's that, like, minus... It doesn't show us, but it's quite a... It's a decent... It's a decent one. Um, I should do this. It'll get some damage on both of them. I can blade up for a... I mean, we, we could try a Grim Reader afterwards, but... I don't know. I don't know. This might kill. Who knows? I might be good. I might be actually good. I don't know. 245s? I'm not actually good. I did half of his health. I just need to do another one of those. One more. One more of those, which is fine. We'll, we'll Grim Reader, just because we haven't seen it yet, so might as well. Might as well, he's going to heal himself now, isn't he? Oh no, okay. That's a surprise. I honestly thought he was going to heal himself there. Ooh, we could faint. We're going to faint into a Grim Reader soon. So we'll faint Blade and then Grim Reader. Sounds good. At six pips, we will have that. He doesn't take off faints, which is handy dandy. Um, 
yeah, we'll blade, and we can Grim Reader next, and then we can follow up with uh, Ship of Fools in a bit if we need to as well. But this, theoretically, I would hope would kill. I would hope. I would hope. This is terrible. Why would you do this? Why do you want heals? Stop healing! Wings of Fate. Oh my gosh. It's actually a decent spell now. I used to hate on it because it was so useless. But since they've changed it, um, it's actually good now. What's really funny is it came to my attention recently um, that... Oh, shoot. That's annoying. That's frustrating. Why would you do this to me? How dare you, sir? How dare you? I guess I'm going to reshuffle and blade. <laughs> because I can't hit him straight on. I could hit with the ship of fools, but I'm not confident that it'll do enough damage. Um, oh, I can target him. I didn't think I would be allowed to target him. Okay. That's interesting. That's strange. Um, very, very strange, but that's fine, I guess. Guess that's fine. I love this spell. This is actually one of my favorite death spells. Not gonna lie, one of my favorites. So cool. Um, yeah, so much better than the Goblet spell. And he's dead. Bye! Farewell! Okay, okay, you win this round. Take the Ritz and go! But know this, the truth is a lie, and you've not seen the last of... The Bantam! <laughs> the Quake Charmer! That's what the memory was. Anyhow, those Ritz over there look sacred. Grab them, and let us make haste to Ursai. Right, we did it. We also leveled up. We're now level 1, 4, 2. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we will go back to Juju. By the old boy's boots, you did it! You got the sacred writs. Let me have a look at them. From the mouth of the old one, yada yada, Lima shall be my shepherd. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not eat calamari. What the heck is calamari? Anywho, let me just find a bit about the killer wahoo. Aha! Here we are. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh. 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 Well, Juju, what does it say? Does it tell us how to circumvent fiery doom? Well. It does tell us what we should do. But we're not doing it. So everybody, pack up your things. We're moving fast. Let's hustle, people. A pack. Move. Hustle. Me rather take my chances with the volcano. What exactly do the rich say, Juju? Fine. Should Ursai's devotion falter, a sacred child shall be crowned the Wahoo. Celebrated then gloriously thrown into the maw of Killer Wahoo. <gasps> Secret child? That means Lima, right? This doesn't seem right. Why would the old one require such an ending? Oh! <laughs> Kill a Wahoo! Me get it. <laughs> Brutal. Well, we're gonna miss you, Juju. Absolutely not! Don't be ridiculous, people! I know what to do, but we have to hurry! We must prepare a trebuchet! Wizard, we need your help, too. Don't look at me. Tosh is the one with the plan. We were taught that the hibiscus is the most sacred flower the old one ever created. They are his precious gift to Ursai village. For my plan to work, we'll need every hibiscus flower in the village. I need you to collect them all while the bears and I build a tribute. Right. Um, we're going to end off here for today. Thank you for watching. Next time we will collect some hibiscus flowers and um, build a tribute. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. And as always, remember to craft outside the box.